Next up I have my final Chanel lipstick that I kept. Uh, this is Mademoiselle. It still smells lovely and it's still a gorgeous colour. I like to wear this for work actually so we'll keep hold of that guy. Girl I should say. Um, I did miss a Dior. This is actually greige. Um, it's actually retired. <laughs> um, I just keep it around so that I have the colour. So I'll just pop that over there. This is Envious from Estee Lauder. Um, yeah, I don't need that. We'll just get rid of that. We have a Nude Cult. Which is very pretty. Uh, Bare Instinct. Again, very pretty, but very similar to Nude Cult. I think just one's warm toned and the other one's slightly cooler toned. Uh, this is Intense Nude, which I know I love this lipstick. It's actually kind of similar to Mademoiselle, just a little bit glossier. Then we have a Brazen, which is scary as hell. It's actually a much nicer version of Aria from NYX. Maybe a touch darker. So we'll keep those guys. And we have my YSLs. This is the shade 25. Still smells fine. Again, a gorgeous nude. Why do I have so many nude lipsticks? It's insane. This is the shade 06. Smells fine. Again, this is a nice peachy nude though. It's actually... I think this might be very similar to Nude Beige, if I can find it. Let's just swatch them together. It's peachier, peachier. Similar sort of vein, but peachier. That's those two. And then we have 19, which is gorgeous hot pink. I will keep hold of this guy for a while longer. This is very similar again to Fuchsia Fever uh, from Estee Lauder. This is the shade 10. Again, another nude. Smells fine. I really need to work on using up my nudes. And this is in the shade 04. Which is more like a, a deep rose red. I do really like that colour. It's very different um, compared to a lot of things I own. I spotted another NYX. Um, I thought I'd pulled them all out. Apparently I did not. This is in the shade Butter. It smells alright, but the colour of it. What was I thinking when I... Oh, I know why I was thinking I'd have bought this and when I bought the other one. Um, this was very trendy at the time. And I was like, I want a couple of cheap shades. To try and replicate the look and see if I like it. I don't like it. I really don't. It... I hate to say it but it is a poop brown colour and I'm not about poop brown. Thank you very much. Next we have my Clinique Pops and I remember Amber F saying that hers um, went off really quickly and some that she'd bought from a shop had smelt off when she bought them. Um, so I'm not sure if these will still be okay. This is Nude Pop. It's a very nice pinky nude. This one is in Beige Pop. I mean they don't so far don't smell very waxy. That's really pretty. These are actually kind of like the shades um, the Soap and Glory lipsticks were. Um, but these are a much nicer formula. This is Blush Pop. Very pretty. This is Bare Pop. Still smells good. I like how that one has a, has shimmer shot through it. This is Sugar Pop. 
has a nice sort of coral hue to it. And this is Mocha Pop, which again smells fine. And that one's nice for like a glossy, deep nude shade. So I will keep hold of these guys and work really hard on using them up this year. Okay, so here we have my Urban Decay lipsticks, which I was so super excited about when I got them. Have I used them a whole lot? No, no I haven't. But I'm sure you would guess that already. Um, so first of all, we have Backdoor, um, which is a metallic brownie colour. Um, I kind of want to try that one on before I decide. So we'll keep hold of that guy for another year. We have Broken, which I know I like this guy. It looks like it's going to be dark on the tube, but it's actually really, really nice. It kind of reminds me a bit of Mocha Pop or Mocha Pop, whatever. Um, this is Rosewood and I know I like Rosewood. It's very pretty. Sorry, Ravenswood. I get confused because Ravenswood is from Pretty Little Liars and they live in Rosewood. Um, but yeah, this is Crank. Again, it's that gorgeous sort of flat out fabulous sort of vibe. Gotta be careful I don't hang on to too many of those. This is Hitchhike, which again, oh, it's really pretty. I have a slightly more vibrant version of that from L'Oreal, which I really enjoy. This is Naked. Um, again, really, really, really pretty. It's a nice sort of light pink shade. This is Alpha, which I love love alpha so pretty so you get more use out of it this is trance it's another sort of weird looking one in the tube but on the skin on the lips it's actually kind of nice it's the closest to a cool tone sort of brownie shade that i've been able to comfortably wear this is 1993 i don't know too much I want to like it. I really, really want to like it. Um, I've gotten rid of so many colours of this sort of shade of brown. <sighs> I think I might hold on to it for a little while and if I haven't used it at all in the next year, you know, bye byes So this is Liar. Gorgeous. And then we have Sheer Liar. which they don't even look similar at all, but you know, gorgeous. And then we have Sheer Shame, which I kind of picked out because I thought it'd be a good replacement for Black Honey. And it is everything that I thought Black Honey would be like. Uh, so I'm definitely keeping hold of that one. I just need to use them more, like a crap ton more. Next we have my Lipfinity lipsticks from Max Factor. Again, these are ones I, I raved about. I love the formulation. Um, this is Evermore Sublime. Beautiful. Uh, this is Just Deluxe. Again, beautiful. This is Ever Sumptuous. It's a very nice bright orangey lipstick. Uh, this is Evermore Lush. Again, gorgeous. This is so alluring. A really nice bright pink. Um, luxuriant, which I love this so much. It's a nice sort of red lipstick with a gorgeous frost to it. Freaking love it, especially this time of year. We have Forever Striking, which again is a really bright orangey red shade. 
love 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 um this is so vivid so many like bright reddishy shades in this collection this is stay exclusive I say that and then go on to a baby pink, right? We have um, Always Elegant, which is a gorgeous kind of burgundy red. Very nice. And then lastly, is one that I know I definitely want to get rid of. This is Eternally Luscious. And this is kind of like a lavendery purple, which I'm never going to use. So it can go... The rest can stay, and I will try really hard to get a little use out of them over the rest of the year. Okay, we are getting there. We are getting there. I'm going to do matte lipsticks next because they are just naturally all together for some reason. Um, we have Du Monet, which still smells good. It's a very deep red. Uh, we'll see what we can do with that. Uh, Moro Fresh Moroccan, which smells so good. It kind of reminds me of that one from Max Factor that I just showed you. It's kind of like, hmm, why am I keeping both, huh? Because I'm stupid like that. Flat Out Fabulous, which I adore. So pretty. Uh, so Showed, which again still smells fine. And this is one of those bright orangey red shades. Uh, this is Russian red. Such a classic. Again, another reason why I was very careful about the reds I was keeping. Beautiful. This is a Vegas Vault. I don't really have many oranges like this. The one from Max Factor was similar, but more matte. This is Velvet Teddy super gorgeous uh we have whirl again pretty it's still that sort of dark brownie color but on my lips it looks nice i know i like this lipstick and i love the lip liner um i don't know why it looks horrible on a swatch on my lips it looks nice we have brave um it's my second tube of brave and it is a beautiful sort of cool toned baby pink. Um, we have Mocha, which again is very pretty. And then we have Jubilee, which again is my second tube. It's a very glossy nude shade. It's actually kind of similar to that one from Lancome, just like a shade or two darker. So we are gonna keep a hold of these bad boys. I feel like I got rid of so much in the start and now I'm like I must hang on to everything or I'll have no lipsticks when I've got so much sitting there I've only got one empty basket left um I mean if I go over filling the four baskets that's fine but I just kind of I wanted to rein in my lipsticks a little bit more oh no I missed one from the um, which I'm gonna call it Max Factor range. This is, or did I drop it? This is always chic, but it is stunning. We're gonna keep it. Um, next up, I have a couple of randomy ones. I'm just realizing it looks as though I've peed myself, but it was actually because there was a wipe there. So I'm just going to scooch my butt over a little bit to hide it. Uh, so I have some number seven ones and a, a L'Oreal one that belongs to it. Oh no, I have three number seven ones and a L'Oreal one. This is the Rouge Colour Shine in Beige in the City. And it looks pretty on the skin. I know it looks a bit skewed because of, you know stained skin but on the lips it's not the best um i've only used it a couple of times i might keep hold of it for a little while longer and then see how i get on with it i 
and we have the three from number seven we have classic rose which i do really like it it's very similar to that one from ysl um i'll keep hold of it because i do like it we have cinnamon spice which is a really pretty brown but again it's that dark brown color and then we have gay geranium which i know i'm gonna keep because i freaking love this shade Again, it's that bright orange. If they brought back um, Tempting Touch, I would be obsessed. Um, I will hang on to those three for just now. Okay, so all I've got left are some Gosh, Gen, um, Bare Minerals and L'Oreal. Um, so this should hopefully be quick. Um, Okay, so we have the Gen Nude ones here. Um, I know there are definitely a couple that I would like to get rid of. Um, just to warn you, the little man is awake because you might hear him whinging uh, every now and then. Um, but we have Honey Bun, which I know is one I definitely like, so I will keep that one. We have a Baby, which I do not like. And it's like a nothing colour anyways, so it can go... We have Mantra, which I do like. It's a very nice, deeper, glossy nude. Uh, we have Kitty. Mm. Kitty is like a corally kind of pink. We'll hang on to that guy for just now. We have Love, which again, I do like. It's like a softer, rosy red. Uh, we have Nudist, which I know I like this guy. It's like the warmer version of uh, Honey Bun. We have Tutu, which again, I do like Tutu. It's sort of like a soft baby pinkish colour. Uh, this is Controversy, and oh no, I don't like Controversy. I don't think I would ever use that, to be quite honest. We have XOX, which again, is very pretty, but it's very similar to a mantra, I think it was. I'll hang on it. For it just now and we'll see which one I use most of. Uh, we have Crave, uh, which is a nice sort of warmish pink colour. We have Sex Pot, which I do like. Again, it's, it's quite similar to uh, Honey Bun and Sex Pot. Uh, we have Karma, which I don't like too much. It's like a, it's like controversy, only coral and not very... Not very much colour shows up. We have Crush, which I, I like Crush. It's a soft coral, but at least it shows up. We have Queen, which I kind of like. We'll see if I actually use it though. And then lastly, we have Heaven, which I really like. Very pretty. So we're getting rid of four of them. <clears throat> mm, I could have sworn I had four gosh lipsticks, but I can only seem to find three. Um, so I've got my gosh lipsticks and my one Kiko. This is in the shade 404, which is a really nice nudist shade. Um, we have Nuga, which I like Nuga a lot. Uh, we have Cinnamon, which I also really like a lot. And I believe this one was Antique. No, Raisin. I am missing one then. I'm missing Antique. Because I really liked Antique. So there is Raisin. It is a really dark brownishy colour, but it looks really nice on. Yes. I knew I was missing one. This is Antique. A very pretty nude. So we're keeping hold of all of those. And that just leaves all of the L'Oreal's. Um, I don't know if I want to go through the hassle of swatching all of these. Because there are so many. Um... I can almost certainly say I'm probably going to keep 
almost all of these. Um, there are some of the gold packaging ones I know I want to part ways with. So we'll start with the golds. Um, we have Intense Fuchsia. I have Intense Fuchsia, which I like. Um, I do have quite a few colours this shade, but I really like the formula of that one. This is Crystal Cappuccino. This is a newer one, which again is very similar to, um, it's like a purplier version of Fresh Moroccan. It is stunning, but we're keeping it. Uh, this is Cassis Passion. Yes, Passion. I really like this one. It's one of my favourite, favourite reds. Uh, this is Sepia, which is a really nice light wash of colour. I think I could do without it. I can always pick up a new one if I wanted. Um, I have had it for quite a while. I mean, it still smells good. Um, L'Oreal lipsticks hold their shelf life really, really well, but I'll part ways with Sepia. This is Preliminaire. Is a really dark purple shade. Um, I will keep that because I don't have very many like that. We have Oud Obsession, which I really like. It's a glossy sheer dark brown. It goes it goes on very nice. We have Nude, which has been destroyed ever so slightly. Um, if I remember rightly, I do have another, a newer nude, possibly. No, I don't. I do need to get a new nude. Um, but we'll hang on to that one for just now. We have Taffeta, which again, I love. Uh, we may have to get a new one of that soon. We have a Boy de Rose, which again, love. Very pretty. I, I need to do like colour categories. Uh, Mocha Chic, which I have two tubes of. There's one here and then there's one in the matte range. Um, you can hear Nick and Rowan play in. <laughs> it's kind of fun to listen. Uh, this is Charm Dior de All. And this is a gold lipstick. It is fabulous. I recommend anyone has a gold lipstick. Everyone has a gold lipstick in their collection. It's an amazing topper. This is Mon Jules, which again, I have two of, but it's such a fabulous red. I might go through both. We will see. <laughs> uh, this is Erotique, which again, I think I have two of, but I love it so much. I might go through both. Um, this, oh yeah, I've done Mon Jules. Uh, this is Red Passion. It's a very nice red. It's the one that's got like gorgeous gold reflex to it. I don't know if I'll keep it though. This is Grage Amaro. Again, this is stunning. It's a beautiful wash. Be perfect for work. And then this is Beige Anu, which I think is fabulous. So I'll keep hold of that. Do I want the red? Well, it is a very bright, clean red. I don't necessarily have too many bright clean reds so we'll keep that one i managed to get rid of one but that's progress right that's progress we'll, we'll tell ourselves that and on to these guys i've got these two they're separate this is nude gold uh, this is part of their gold obsession range they came out with I think four different colours are all gold based and a solid gold, like a, a completely gold lipstick. I will keep this guy. This is a Fever from the Balmain collection. I'm going to keep this guy because it is stunning and I don't have anything like that um, in any of my other lipsticks. So, yes. So these are the three duplicates, um, the Mon Jules, Mocha Chic and Erotique. I'll just pop those to the sides already. Um, so I'm just going to pick them up at random. I am probably going to keep all of them. This is the Scarlet Silhouette. It is a gorgeous bright matte red. Stunning. Uh, this is Grey Perfecto. And we've got Little Man here. Hi. 
Bye. Can you see yourself? Hiya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is greyish perfecto again it's a sort of darker brown color um but i'll probably use these ones for mixing uh same with this guy this amulet um it is an out there color that i probably won't wear too often but i do like it for a look this is a bronze satur which hasn't even been opened yet very similar to that guy um but I'll have to try that on to see what I think of it. Actually, quite a few of these aren't even opened. This is Purple Studs. I looked at swatches of them online and these are ones that are, I bought for my birthday. And clearly haven't used since. So, Purple Studs. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. It's like magnetic magenta. But way cooler. Because, you know, it don't stink. This is Pink Porter. Which I knocked the tip off of. It's a very nice sort of corally pink. Uh, this is Stone, which I do love. This was the first one that I got in this collection. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, we have Obsidian, which is, again, an unopened one. It's okay, Bubby. Sit down. Very similar to Preliminaire, but a lot more wearable. Uh, this is Storm. It is a, a very bizarre grey colour, but again, it's for a look. Hey! I want to see Mummy. This is Plum Tuxedo, which I wanted to swatch next to Purple Studs. It's similar, but slightly different. It's more of a... It's got more of a strong pinker to it. This is Paris Cherry, which is so gorgeous. It actually kind of reminds me of Shanghai Express. Next we have Strike a Rose, which is a really nice, good pink rose color there. We have Midnight in Paris, which is a beautiful navy blue actually it's like a black with navy blue shimmer it's really pretty again it's more for like uh look hey cheeky sword uh then we have haute rouge which is fabulous it's actually very similar to that other one that i was deciding on but it's definitely a lot more matte then we have a blush in a rush, which is not quite showing up because of the colour of my skin, but it is really nice nude. Uh, then we have Lava, which again isn't opened. And oh, I'm excited to wear that one. That is a really nice orangey red. Next we have Candy Stiletto which is sort of like a baby, a ye very yellowy baby pink. I'm not too sure about this one. I need to wear it a bit more and decide. Then we have Mahogany Studs, which I do like this one. Very pretty. I like to wear that one with stone. Um, thank you. Then we have a Brick Vintage. Which actually is kind of similar to... Oh, no, it's not. I thought it was going to be similar to Fever, but it's, it's completely different. But it's fabulous on its own. It's fabulous on its own merit. You having fun there, wee man? We have Voodoo, which is a pretty purple. It's kind of like that one from... Um, the max factor that I didn't quite like but this isn't a, a, a very solid purple like you could play with this and make it pull more pink and then lastly we have hype which is a gorgeous orangey shade okay 
Okay, so that, those are, okay, so these are all the ones we're getting rid of. I'm getting rid of two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, two, four, six, eight, thirty, two, four, six, eight, forty, two, four, six. Eight. I'm getting rid of 48 lipsticks. I think that's a good number. I'm very happy. Um, I would say all three boxes, all four boxes are filled, but someone has decided he wants to play lipstick um, and is emptying all the boxes. So I will tidy all this away, put this in the declutter bag, stop him from eating my makeup. <laughs> And I will catch you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. I'm so sorry that this took so long for me to get filmed. But you know, inquisitive baba. And I will see you next time. Bye bye. You gonna say hi?